Hi there folks, today we're checking out the Kulahauda Professional Tripod. Let's do this. Hi there folks, and welcome back to Novum Verum. I know, I know. Why did I buy another tripod? <laughs> so, over the last few weeks, or rather, last couple of weeks, um, I've been looking for a small desktop uh, tripod, um, and I was looking at, you know, the ones with flexible legs, and um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find one that I was actually happy with. Um, and then I thought like, well, I know they make those small little aluminum ones that like, like the miniature full size ones <laughs> um, uh, with the ball head and, um, you know, the, the, the twist uh, locks, that sort of thing. And I found that those things are almost as costly as the full size ones. Um, I think the cheapest one I found was for $70 Canadian. Um, so I found this one by Kulehoda. Kulehauda. Um, this is the KQ225A. Um, and it's it stands at like 22 inches um, when it's fully collapsed so thought why not and it was for 50 bucks so much better um, so let's open this guy up I really need to sharpen this knife here we go Nothing in the box. Simple drawstring nylon bag. Oh, there was something in there. I thought there wasn't. Oh, it's just the Allen key. Um, alrighty. A little twist eye on there. And there she is. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, um, I think even these jo uh, joint points, and I know for a fact this hook, they're all metal. They're all uh, some sort of alloy. That's pretty cool. It's actually like right when I grabbed it, it felt like really good quality. Ooh, nice snap to the locking mechanism. Oh wow, it's nuts. It's so weird, it, it just feels so great in the hand. Um, huh. Alrighty, let's uh, stand her up. So this has, it's uh, five segments. One, two, but um, I think I'm just gonna do, I guess I could do three, there you go. One, two, three. There we are. But um bump. It's obviously not as sturdy or or, or rather not as robust. Um but 
feel sturdy enough. It's shaking. Where is that from? Oh, okay, it's just from that. Uh, the ball head. That feels like. I can't even tell. I think it's plastic. But I could be wrong. Hmm. But this enclosure right here is all metal alloy. Um, wow. It's really, it's really smooth for how small it is. The construction is, is surprisingly good. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to set this up on my desk. Um, and then we can measure out uh, the height and all that good stuff. And then, yeah, I'll wrap this up real quick. Give me a moment, guys. Thanks. All right, folks. So I've placed this on my uh, tabletop. I want to see what kind of footprint it would have and how much space it would take up on my desk. And it's actually really not that much. Um, again, I got this so that I would have a secondary tripod to put, you know, my light ring on or to put um, my phone on if I need a second angle for a shoot. Um, yeah, it, it, it's so funny because I never thought about it until I decided on the newer N284L and sent everything back. So I didn't realize that I've always had a secondary tripod, um, except for obviously when I first started and I was like, you know, using my my chair and, and boxes and, and my shredder to be my tripod. Um, <laughs> but yeah, ever since then, once I started, I always had the opportunity to have two tripods and I ne and I just like took the other one for granted because I had already, you know, it was on its way out. So now that once I made a decision and I didn't have that secondary tripod, I found it. I found that I had a need for it. Um, and yeah, you know what? Like, it would be nice to be able to afford, you know, a uh, Joby Gorilla, like the the, the big, huge uh, aluminum alloy one, because um, that is a great product. I've had the opportunity to to uh, see it in person and, and, and hold it in my hands and manipulate it, and it's uh, it's a great product, but just too pricey for what I really need it for. You know, the only reason why I started looking at um, flexible tripods was because of that added potential. Uh, if I wanted to take it out and, and, you know, hook up my camera onto a fence or like grab around a, a post. Um, so that was all it really was. What I really needed was a small tripod, something that I could put on my desk and be able to um, get that, that second angle with my phone camera um, or be able to focus light better and put and you know I could put my ring light on this um, so yeah like I, I'm actually I'm actually very happy to have found this so I'm just gonna call this the postmortem <laughs> um, and let you all know that I'll be keeping this um, it's really great it, the construction the materials uh, the craftsmanship that went into this is actually surprisingly good. Um, in fact, like when I started playing around with it, I was thinking like, maybe I should look to see whether they have a full size one, but no, no more. <laughs> I don't want to keep on looking for stuff unless I absolutely need it. Um, and I already have a full size, a, a, a giant of a tripod in the newer N284L. And uh, this is just going to be a new addition to my tool chest. So, yeah. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to put this to work right away because I have a couple of products um, just 
off screen here that I'm going to be starting to work on. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.